All right, Tony Peterson here for Top Five Rock Lists, and today we're going to uh, we're going to be going over uh, my favorite top five favorite rock and roll frontmen. I've got my notes over here on the side, so I'll be looking over there occasionally. Um, here we are. Uh, I don't know what are we about ten weeks into this pandemic thing. It's uh, it's May, middle of May, the, close to Memorial Day weekend, uh, 2020. I've got lines in my face from having to wear masks at the grocery store and at work and what have you. So anyway, let's get started with the uh, top five rock and roll front men. Um, I've decided to go with uh, all, front men, all front men, not just men in bands. And uh, let's go uh, with number five right off the bat. <clears throat> it was a real toss up here between two guys at my number five spot. And in the end, I went with the guy that I guess jumps around the most. And, um, uh, you know, one of the things I'm going with here is, uh, you know, a combination of charisma and vocals. If I went strictly with vocals, I might go with the other guy, although he also has a lot of charisma. Um, the guy that didn't make it into the guy that would be number six is Roger Daltrey. Number five is David Lee Roth. Um, although I think he's, I think he's a jerk as a human being. <laughs> I've seen the, I've, I've seen him a few times with Van Halen back in the late seventies, early eighties. And, um, one time he wore those assless chaps and I was in the front row as I always am in concerts I figured out when I was young how to get into the front at concerts I would get out of school and and go immediately to the auditorium and just sit and wait by the doors with my back up against the doors and um, maybe put a little bottle in uh, my sock or something you know to bring in for later but um, that's how we got to the front and this was you know of course back in the days when general admission was still doable before uh, the big who concert tragedy where they kind of did away with a lot of that so we would uh, immediately you know when they'd open the doors there'd be a big rush to get in all the time and we figured out a way to get to the front so anyway I was in the front and uh, David Lee Roth of course uh, was wearing his assless chaps and uh, not cool. <laughs> I didn't like it. I don't, I don't want to see your naked ass, David Lee Roth. So anyway, he's number five on my list, regardless of his assless chaps. Number four is the hardest working man in show business, the king of soul, king of uh, funk, all that stuff, uh, James Brown. How many people did that guy inspire? Man, oh man. Um, number three on my list is Robert Plant. Um, vocally difficult to top. He, he, him and Jimmy Page would go back and forth. Uh, Jimmy Page would play a riff and he, and, uh, Robert Plant would, would, uh, sing or hum sort of a, sort of, sort of a sing the next, you know, that, uh, 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 you know, he would, he would, uh, Robert, uh, you know, Jimmy Page would play it and Robert Plant would sing it back to him. Kind of cool. Um, and of course, you got the Robert Plant tight pants down around his way. The hip huggers, we used to call them. I guess the girls like that. I don't know. But, you know, combination of charisma and voice. He's number three. Number two on my list is Mick Jagger. You're probably thinking, how can you top Mick Jagger as a front man? I agree. Very difficult. Uh, the way he struts, the way he sings, um, you know, just uh, even, even, even today, if you watch him, he's almost 80 years old, and he can still jump around, and he's still got a lot of his moves. Amazing. The amazing Mick Jagger is number two. Number one on my list. Once you hear my number one, you're gonna you're gonna realize why why Mick Jagger was able to be beat out 
Number one on my list is Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley, of course. Probably nobody ever had more charisma on stage than Elvis Presley. I doubt, I mean, I, I, I can't imagine even 200, 300, 500 years ago, somebody had more charisma than Elvis Presley on stage. And vocally, you know, I mean, he's got rhythm and melody in his voice. Um, he, he changed the world. Elvis Presley, number one. All right, let's get on into some of my honorable mentions. Of course, uh, Roger Daltrey was number six. Um, Alice Cooper, my very first concert when I was 14 years old. Uh, Joe Strummer, uh, even though he does play the guitar, uh, I consider him to be a pretty chariz charismatic uh, front man. Bon Scott, Jim Morrison. I'm going to throw a couple 90s guys in there. Uh, Eddie Vedder. Billy Joe Armstrong and uh, Freddie Mercury um, although I believe that right now um, him and Queen are both a bit overrated um, I like them I always liked them they were they didn't always put together a, a, a good full album when they when they released their albums you could listen to about half or three quarters of it so um, you know, tell me who your favorite front men are. Who did I miss? Of course, I you know I, I left off Paul McCartney and and uh, El and uh, John Lennon because I feel like they are co front men. Um, there's a lot of people like that I didn't add. You know, guys that are uh, just as much guitar players as they are front men, um, or or you know maybe bass players as, as that are front men maybe you know like a Getty Lee you know he's he's gonna be in a lot of other lists that maybe not front men so who did I miss disagree with me if you want have a conversation as long as it's polite please like this uh, please like it and subscribe and uh, I look forward to having another conversation later this week or next week. Tony Peterson with Top 5 Rock List signing out.